Hi guys, I'm Jake from Maritips.com and today we are going to take a first look at the new Kaspersky Internet Secure 2012. Now this is a beta release so Kaspersky still has time to improve it. However, you can already see the main features and improvements for the 2012 version. And I'm using the latest build which is 12.00191 on a Windows 7 64-bit operating system. And let me start by quickly showing you the most impressive feature in uh, the new version, in my opinion of course. And this is it. This is basically the uh, cloud reputation scan and this will analyze uh, the reputation of the application websites against their clouds. The Kaspersky security network was available uh, in the 2011 version as well, however it wasn't used very efficiently. Um, right now I'm offline, I can't uh, get online although I'm connected to the internet as you can see. It says that uh, disconnected from reputation database, internet connection may be unavailable. If I try to get more information about uh, the, this new feature, it will open a new page, web page and uh, I've tried it before, it will give me a 404 error, page was not found. Let me show you. So as you can see, error 404, page not found. So Kaspersky has uh, this page to fill and uh, this uh, feature to improve. <laughs> Already, uh, also a new um, a new improvement is the Chrome support. Uh, Kaspersky 2012 now supports uh, the Chrome browser. As you can see, I have here the Kaspersky Real Visor and the Kaspersky, virtu the Kaspersky Virtual Keyboard. So that's a good uh, thing. Let's continue our tour. This is their new user interface. It's much more simple. It's using uh, the Kaspersky traditional color, which is green. And I said that it's much more user friendly because now um, the user has um, icons for the main features and functions of the product so uh, you can go either sideways or uh, just go up and see all the features uh, at once and you have scan with full scan, critical area scan, vulnerability scan and custom browser scanning custom scanning next we have the update uh, let's run an update quarantine nothing in there since I didn't manage to test it yet Tools that uh, Kaspersky traditional tools like Rescue Disk, Windows Troubleshooting, Privacy Cleaner, Browser Configuration. These were available in the 2011-2010 version as well. Next we have the Virtual Keyboard. We have then a very useful feature which is Application Activity. And this is very useful because you basically can um, have total control over your uh, computer from here. If you find if you have a malicious um, a malicious uh, process running, you can just move it to a restricted group group, and uh, it will basically be will basically have no rights. So a good addition this uh, icon here, network monitor. Again, this was available in the 2011 version as well. Again, dig digital identity protection, parental control, useful if you have kids. And then the, the last one, it's a safe run for websites. Let's check it out. Now what I have noticed is that Kaspersky reintroduced uh, these settings. This setting uh, created a desktop shortcut. It was available in the 2010 version. It was removed in the 2011. And now it's available again. This is a very useful feature because you can just... Uh, create a desktop shortcut and run uh, your uh, web browser from there the browser will start, will, uh, start in a virtual environment and uh, basically you will be protected from uh, from uh, unknown threats so as you can see I have right now a green border around my browser which is a sign that I'm using uh, their uh, sandbox mode also if I was on a 32-bit operating system I would probably have here um, application safe run and uh, basically be able to virtualize my uh, 
desktop uh, so uh, let's um, check now the settings so as you can see the settings uh, looks like the to, looks the same like in the 2011 version nothing different let's check really quick and see if uh, any setting was uh, changed everything is recommended just just like it was in the 2011 version so we have system watcher firewall proactive defense network attack blocked blocker anti-spam anti-burner fire antivirus mail antivirus web antivirus we have again the scan the scan settings update settings and we have uh, the advanced settings with compatibility compatibility self-defense battery saving of course these were available in the 2011 version as well so this is basically a quick tour through the new Kaspersky 2012 and as a final remark I will uh, I will note that Kaspersky redesigned their gadget it looks like a computer now I'm not uh, really a fan of the gadgets however if you like it you can use it and um, this is basically it this is the new Kaspersky I want to, I want to test it right now because as you can see I'm not, I'm not able to use their cloud uh, reputation scan I will try to make it work and then I will uh, test it I'm meeting you over at malertips.com to talk about uh, the new Kaspersky and uh, many other subjects. So, see you there, guys. Thank you for watching this quick video.